Hi, in this project I'm going to go over a restoration project I did for a Haswing manta ray kayak. Now this kayak was never commercially sold in the United States, so there's a lot of missing parts that I was unable to get. But this was both a challenging and fun project. So, that being said, let's go ahead and get started. This is an overview of the prototype kayak. It's missing a lot of parts, which I'm going to have to fabricate, and I've done some research, and I can't find a lot, so this is going to be a pretty good project. So, give you a quick little tour. Got a nice front handle. Up in here, this is a hatch that locks that goes down through the hull of the kayak. This is a stand-up bar. And then in here, there used to be an engine pod, and there's no engine anymore, so I'm going to work on what I'm going to put in there instead. And it's got the standard little foot indentations, some spots on either side here for some specialized rod holders, handles, a seat, and as you come to the back, this is a closed cell section for your battery. This is another little section that's closed off. And then this is your trolling motor bracket. And there's holes drilled all over the place in this thing. And I don't know what they went to because I can't find any pictures. So I'm going to work on that too. And then these pull out as stabilizers on either side. So this is going to be a really fun little project to do, and I'll add a little section every time I do something. These are the first modifications that I made. You can see a four bolt pattern there, and that was originally in the kayak, but no American piece fits in there, so I made a mounting plate for a rod holder, and I used some poly cutting board, and I did that on this side as well. And as you go down in here, this was the motor pod, and since I can't get the motor, I put a cover plate in there using poly board, and then fabricated a couple of aluminum brackets to hold it in place, and those bolts were already there. And this is the seat that came with the kayak. It's a pedestal seat, and it does sit up higher than the kayak, but I made modifications so I could put in a stadium seat. This is the stadium seat that I put in there. Now I fabricated this aluminum bar here to support the front and then the rest of the weight is supported on the pedestal seat that was already in the kayak. That way you have a much more comfortable seat using the stadium seat. The next modification will be to use this pre-existing hole. This was used for a pulley steering system but because I don't have those parts either what I'm going to do is enlarge the hole and add a rod holder here and then match it on the other side here so they'll both be behind the seats and it'll make it a more functional kayak. Now the rod holders are completely installed and you see right in there that white piece of cardboard that's the template I made and I use this existing hole here for this one and then for the other one I made a completely new hole and they worked out really good. Under the seat here is a hole with two smaller holes for some type of attachment, but there's no part for that. So what I decided to do was make a little cover piece using some poly cutting board along with a stainless steel pad eye, which I will place over that so it'll have some kind of functionality and will cover the hole. Okay, so I have both installed and I also use some marine goop around the holes and on the base of these new attachments to make sure that there's no water leaks. This is how I mounted the fish finder for this kayak. As you can see, it's a hook 2 4X and I have it on a ram ball mount so it can move to be seen best while fishing. And then I also drilled a hole in the side here and put this cover block over it along with some marine goop inside 
to make sure that no water leaks inside. And the wires are running through the inside here to a through hole transducer mount, which I've also shown how to do on other videos. This is the control box that contains the PWM or digital speed controller for the trolling motor. Now I have a video tutorial of how to make this box. If you're interested, just look on my YouTube channel. You can see the wiring coming out of the back and it's encased in a wire cover which goes to a waterproof gland nut and I used a pre-existing hole in the kayak to run the wiring through into the hole and into the battery compartment and there's the battery compartment open this up and you can see I have my fish finder hooked up with a 3 amp fuse along with a 60 amp circuit breaker that works with the trolling motor and as we go back here I have my trolling motor quick connect disconnect plug which powers the trolling motor and the trolling motor itself is a Haswing 40 pound thrust Osapian which I removed the head and took four inches in length off it in order to use it with the PWM and you can see that I went with a tiller steering system here which I've also shown in a video tutorial on my YouTube channel this is just a quick overview of the finished kayak you can see on the back I have my modified trolling motor with my tiller steering and my custom stadium seat along with the fish finder and the standard stand-up bar that came with it and the front storage hatch so that's it if you have any questions please leave them for me in the comments thank you